Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a perfume haul. Um, I'm extremely excited because most of these are blind buys. And this is my first time doing that. So come along with me and watch me react to the smell scents of all these perfumes. These fragrances from uh, Fragrance.net. And they offer like um, really accessible prices. They offer um, like testers for sale. I say why not? It's like the same product. As you can tell, I have this one by Brianna. It came in a box, but it didn't say anything else. It was just like a carton, like a little box. So I think it, this one's called Nude. And my first impression with this is that it's a very sweet floor scent. Um, it's It just reminded me a lot of the Can Can from Paris Hilton. I also got this one a couple weeks ago. But there was something about it in it that just my nose does not like. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna give my little sister this one. This was also a blind buy, so those are very similar, but this one is definitely like a winner. I think it's it's a beautiful scent. Okay, next one that I got a couple weeks ago is this one from Juicy Couture. Um, this one also was a blind buy. Um, I got it at my local DDs. So this one is like a much more masculine scent. I feel like this is a scent that even guys can wear. But it's a little bit like feminine, yeah. I wish I, I was better at describing it, but I'm not, so. Here I go again. But I do like it. I think I'm gonna keep that one for now. Use it like in the night to see if I actually like it, and we'll see. The next one that I also got on my local DDs was uh, this one by Rihanna, is the Rebel Flair. And I know that this one is like very raved about, and I agree. Very nice. I really, really like these. It's also like a fresh, I mean, like a florally one, but it's like really elegant in my opinion. I don't know. It's something that you could wear like a lot, like, you know. Now I have here, I have like, I have five new perfumes. So I'm gonna go in with this tester from Burberry. You see? This just doesn't come with the, with the top. So it's like literally the same product. And, oh, this smells good. Um, yeah, I don't really care about it because it was um five to ten dollars more for the cap. It's like okay, I don't need the cap, so I don't really care. It's like a full bottle, so I really don't care. This one is a very floral, fresh, powdery. First spray it, it does smell like a little bit more mature, grown up, you know, like grandma. <laughs> you let it warm up in your skin, it like becomes a very soft and yeah just a very soft perfume that's the best way i can explain it i feel like this perfume could be like a good one to layer and in this one i feel like i want to spray together to see how it would you know function yeah the more the more the uh, perfume gets like warmed up in your skin the best performance smell you'll get so just let it like simmer there i can start smelling different like aroma not just like straight up like grandma-ish so maybe you do have to get used to like the beginning of it but it's a really nice perfume. This is Burberry Touch for Woman. Okay, I'm just gonna talk about this one right now because I was so excited to see what was up with this one because I know that her perfumes are like really talked about. Like the other one, I don't remember what it's called, but I wanna get that one instead. Um, this one, I think that I'm gonna give to my mom for Mother's Day just because I feel like this perfume would be her style. It wasn't bad, I just didn't like it personally because it's too fresh. I like those like sweet, gourmand, warm, musky, like this I can tolerate because it's not too strong. But this one was too citrusy, very fresh, clean, shower, like that. So hopefully she likes it. I love the bottle. It's like super, I don't know, very like those times when it was, you know, released. I don't remember when it was released, but yeah, I hope she likes it. Next one I'm going to open is this one. I heard that this one was a really good one, so... I'm excited and nervous. So the box is really cool. It's like, it's, you know, like a little bit scaly. Come here, go. Wow, I'm so excited. Whoa, the bottle is amazing. Oh my god, my face. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is so funny. Um, I really like the bottle. So let's see how it smells. Hey, hold on, I need to let this warm up. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. 
I feel like it's too strong in some way. Like, I feel like you don't need a lot of this. Damn, I don't know if I like this or not. There's something in there that I don't like at all. Yeah, I don't think I like it. I'm just not very like open, I guess, to different scents. So I just like to stick with what I like. It smells very like, what is it? Like grown woman for sure. I could try it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to see about this one. It was just, I don't know. Yeah, it smells like very grown. That's very confusing to me. So this one, if I had to rate it, it'd be like a 6 out of 10. But we'll see about this one. The next one that I have here is Burberry Brit by For Her. And I'm also super excited to smell this one. I heard that this one is good too. So let's see. Oh, moment of truth. Okay, okay, it's cute. I'm gonna do it on this side. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is very fresh and clean as well. This is a fragrance that I can tolerate. It's not like strong at all, but it's there, you know? It's present, it's clean, fresh, floral. That's nice. I, I would wear this one. So this is approved. If I had to rate it, it would be like an 8 out of 10. And this is just for fun, so don't take me serious. I don't know a lot about perfume, as you can tell. So don't come for me, because it's all for fun. Okay, next up is Prada Candy. And I was also super excited to get this one. I hope that it smells like how they rave about it. So let's see. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, I live. I live. It's so pretty. Let's get it. I don't like to smell perfume straight up from the air just because um, it's not the same. Let's see. Hmm, interesting. It's not bad. Hmm. I really can't smell much. Yeah, dude, there's not a lot of uh, scent on this, so it literally smells like water and like a little a splash of perfume. So I'm kind of disappointed right now. Can't really smell anything. Okay, next up I have this is the last one. I have Dolce & Gabbana Lampeatrice. So this is how it looks. The moment of truth. Wow, that's nice. That's very pretty. The cap is not like the prettiest thing ever so like it doesn't even fit with the vibe but this is me so let's see i'm gonna put it up here all right the moment of truth <laughs> okay okay it's very floral there's definitely something that it's like very splashy and oh it's good i like it i'd rate it 9.5 out of 10. let's recap we like we like we like we like I'm smelling this one again and I feel like it's one that I would have to like wear out so I'm gonna give it a try even though it's so potent and it kind of hurts my nose there's something in it that oh it's very <clears throat> overwhelming so I'll give it a try this one is extremely like lightweight there's not a lot of potency in it so Maybe this could be a good like going to bed one. It's it's nice. I just really can't smell a lot. So there you go. This one I have to give it a try. Actually, I have to wear this and see what I like. This one I'm gonna move away from it and give it to my little sister, just because it's, it's like this one's like a better option for this one. Yeah. Um. So let's say goodbye to this one and this one, which I already said it's like super citrusy and fresh, which not my vibe so i'm gonna give this to my mom so yeah that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.